Hi everyone, so for today's craft, we're going to make something for the 4th of July. We're going to make these little paper plate flaps and um, let's just get started. Okay, so a few things that you should have are this paper plate, or half a paper plate, paper clip, paint, and these little tails. So I'm going to put these aside because I already got some paint on them and that's okay but I'm going to put them away because I don't want any more paint on them. Now I found a little brush that I'm going to go ahead and use and instead of dipping it, well I mean I could dip it and just paint, 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 but what I found a little easier is to dip a little bit of the paint around, makes it easier to Spread it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and painted my whole plate. Now, I put a little too much paint. So mom and mom or dad or whoever's helping, make sure you have something underneath to kind of catch the paint because I got a little bit of paint on my table here. And all I'm trying to do now is just get rid of some of the excess paint. There's too much paint. Now you can choose to leave that extra paint on. You don't have to remove it. I personally just want it off so it can dry a little faster. So next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of my paint, my paintbrush because I don't need them anymore. And I'm actually going to clean my hands real quick. Okay, so while we wait for our plate to go ahead and dry, what we can do, what we can do is create our stars that we are going to go ahead and put on our flag. Now, the stars don't have to be perfect. No, nobody's perfect, nothing is perfect. So whatever size you want your stars to be, will be perfect as they are. So I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil and start making my shapes. Oh, see, look, getting paint everywhere. But what's a craft if it's not a little messy? So I'm not very good at drawing regular stars. I like to make them like this. Now my stars are a little so-so. I'm going to make five stars. You can make as many stars as you want that will fit on your half a plate or your flag. But this is what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut them and I'll be right back with my cut stars. Okay, so I've gone ahead and let the paint dry a little. It's still a little wet, which is fine, um, but most of the bottom is dry or somewhat dry, so that gives me something to work with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add the tails. So there should be four red and four white-ish ones. So I'm going to go ahead and glue and paste behind the plate. So it's going to be a red, a white, a red, a white, a red, and white, and then end with the red.
All right, so I've gone ahead and put the tails of my flag. Now you can go ahead and straighten them out and then trim them, which is what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to add my stars. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and paste my stars onto the pot. So that you can hang it anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it this way and I'm just trying to close it off. And there we go. We've made a flag for 4th of July. You can hang it outside your window or your front porch, your back porch, or wherever you really want to hang it. So thanks for crafting with us. We hope you have a wonderful holiday. The library will be closed the 5th of July, and we will see you around next time. Bye! Don't forget to share your crafts with us. See you soon!